Fake Windows. Or just Windows if you are a Slav. You see, the Slavs have a different look to their Windows. They never saw big beautiful boxes and stickers. No one has ever typed a key by hand from a package and definitely no one ever made a phone call to activate the OS. Hello? Psh, psh. Hello, блядь. One hundred and forty bucks. Huh? That's a month's salary, and it's not even the professional version. Some kind of home. Disgusting. The average Slav buys a PC and expects it to turn on a tank simulator as soon as he presses a button for free. Come on, work, blade. Sit back, comrade. Today we are going to find out what it looks like. A real Slavic Vinda. Of course, while there was no internet, you had to buy CDs in stores like this. Eh. Disgusting. There's a guy sitting somewhere playing on a console. CDs could even be lying on the floor. You can steal them. Nobody cares. This is what kind of CDs are for sale there. Get comfortable. Fasten your seat belts. We're gonna suffer. An authentic Belarusian Windows 7 from Minsk. Mac stands here. Uh, fly an iPhone. Reward 2016. With a little bonus. Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and phone book of Belarus. Huh? 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 Five rubles. Fifty-five rubles. F five hundred fifty-five rubles. No matter how much, no one cares. You can pay with cookies if you want. The new Windows 98 for those who bought a computer. All antiviruses included. And all viruses included. All included. Have fun. You can even start a battle between them, blade. And there is a universal office. Universal. Hello, blade. Psh, psh. Diablo. Huh? Windows. Zverd. <laughs> Photoshop, suka. Torrent. Lion. Can Gates do that? Zuver Beast DVD plus best software plus 100 programs licensed now virus free Aspirin 2013 Windows XP Intel Core i7 AMD Phenom compatible with Windows 7 made in Russia B -b buy it Shimbos ah, Windows XP Naked Edition Blood with the car Buckle up! Windows 7 edition with operating systems installable at will. You don't have to install anything. It's your PC. Come on. Officially from Microsoft. Huh? Budget friendly edition. Straight from Bill Gates. You can trade a couple of these discs for a Steam Pack. Smooth skin. That's the only Windows what was on sale in the store. Was. <laughs> That's what was considered a licensed product. If someone can't install it themselves, a computer wizard comes to the rescue. Computer master. Master! This is an ultra professional. They're usually called professional. He will install Windows, install Office, install Browser. Oh, he can install so many things. He'll even do a virus cleanup for the internet and even download a video card. These services range in price from $10 to several thousand dollars. After all, he's holding a licensed Windows from Bill Gates and it costs $150. All the vertical surfaces of the cities are covered with advertisements with such services. And look at all those ads. Computer help from Sunage. The computer is more than a friend. The computer is a world, a colleague, a tutor and an advisor. Stop! Don't shut this world down with a year long. What the f*** is year long? I'll tell you about this magical world, Sonic. He scares me.
installing and configuring Windows and Linux. Oh, we have a hacker man here. Setting up modems, routers, routers and even the internet. At home PC training and phone setup and even a smartphone. Or here. Look at this guy. Lives right next to you. I'll be your friend. I'll help you with your PC. I'll unlock your computer and dust it. Antivirus for free. Apple, HP, Windows, Dr. Web. Sasha. Who do you think it is? It's Alexander. He'll install Windows and then go with you to the store to get a new PC. Apparently he doesn't rate his skill very highly. And here is Sergey. He wants to be your master. And he lives near you too. Suka, why do they all live here? He will remove the wires. He'll clean the dust off your PC and set up your smartphone. He works with Mac. And if you order a Windows installation, he'll fix your washing machine. And if you suddenly need to repair and configure your Apple, JD Computer Master will come to you. What has become of you? Where do you live now? Near you. <laughs> Just don't think these guys on these discs were installing a normal pirated Windows. After all, with such knowledge as knowledge of Apple, Mac and washing machine, it is simply a sin to install a normal Windows. The most important thing about Slavic Windows is the build. The evening Windows build. Neon. Sucker Windows. Iron. Burning. Brutal. Cute. Cartoonish. Radioactive. Gold for the richest. Rocker. This, this Windows for, for, blech, I think I'm losing my vision. Of course, everyone had their own loading screen too. Branded. A tiger if you like. Yoda if you want. All the greatest heroes of our time. Che Guevara. Johnny Depp. Spider-Man. Woman the Gopnik making music with Bacardi and the glass pancake. And what curses you can put! Oh, mamma mia! The knife, knife, bone, penis, penis, penis! Yes, the tastes of many masters mesh. Of course, there were their own system sounds as well. As you can guess, hacks and visual improvements are not the only thing. This is still not a professional build from Crazy Booster. Therefore, every self-respecting builder necessarily inserts something very important, like PlayStation 1 emulator into the installer, and cuts out something unnecessary, like the system folder. Because of this, half of the builds do not work straight out of the box, and the other half starts to crash when you move the mouse, refuses to play games, or to go online. And of course, your password grabber or miner could be inside. Then computer master Vadim is sure to come running to you with another Porsche BMW Hubba Baba Trump Christmas Edition build. After all, he lives just around the corner. And of course there are red builds too, but boring, ugly and only one. But there is even a simulator of Soviet Windows. There it is. Work, блядь. Immediately sickle and hammer. <laughs> Just so you understand that this is a Soviet simulator. I don't know what the sickle and hammer mean. But if I stack tools like that, I'd get my ass kicked. No, of course, real, normal versions were brought to Russia, even adapted, beautiful ones. 
At first, even Gates came and tried to show the advantages of the system and to convince people to buy it. He came many times. Buy Shindos. Look how cool it is. Desktop. Folder. File. Basket. Suitcase. Hiking bag. Cooler. Stapler. Blyck. Air conditioner. But the citizens just nodded and said, yeah, we know everything. We've even already got the leaked prototypes. In short, it didn't work at all. Still, the Slavs pirate windows as if it were meant to be. Everyone remembered the key for each version by heart. You just know it. And it just can't be any other way. In total, a minimum set would cost somewhere around 900 a year. That's about two months salary in its entirety. If you don't eat, drink and live naked on the street. A licensed game can only be purchased from Steam when there is a 99.9 .9 discount. The only way to get a licensed Windows is to buy it together with the laptop. But there will be a home version. It's not pretty. It's boring and with no penis for a cursor. In short, for the hobos. Real Slavic men immediately deleted and put the pro version or the corporate version to work with the whole corporation. Well, you could also find licenses in companies. After all, the police could come with an inspection, but the people working in the police are not... How should I say it not to get into the gulag? They are not hackers. That's why they determined the license by the serial code sticker. Show me the sticker. But we got Linux. Что, блядь? Where's the Windows sticker on your Linux? Alright, everybody, let's go! Gulag is waiting. <laughs>